Hello, Paul Gabriel here for another installment of Ask ZBrush. So we had the question sent in to us, how does the project on mesh slider for the grid background images help? So I want to show a really great way to use this slider to help us create a base mesh of a human head. So I've docked my draw palette over here to the left, and the slider we're going to be looking at is this project on mesh. So I just have a Dynamesh sphere sitting here in the middle. I'm going to go into our light box, and I'm going to click on our grids options. And you can see there's two grids here. I'm going to double click on the second one to load it. And you can see what we have here is a image of the front of a face and the side of the face. So this is great to work with and move around. But I'm going to go ahead now and turn our project on mesh on. And you can see what's happening here is the image is now being projected onto our surface. So this can come in very handy by now starting to block in what we want to work on. So we're going to turn our symmetry on. We're going to have our move brush on and go to a fairly large size and just start moving our mesh around. And you can see as we move our mesh, more and more the image starts to come into play. So I have a nice Dynamesh, so like at any point in time we can smooth and re-Dynamesh. And you can see if I can continue going, the image will start to repeat itself. So it comes in really handy to just quickly just block out kind of where we're at, switch to now the side view, and we can start working on that. We'll go with a, a much larger brush size so I can really move that surface around and kind of just match what I've been making to the two images. So it's a very fast way to create a base mesh off of two images. You can see we got a really quick simple start of a head bust here just by having these projection images helping us block out things a little bit more. So it comes in really really handy. And this is a great way to use our project on mesh slider. So thank you for sending in the question and please continue to send in more to our Twitter account with the hashtag AskZBrush. Happy ZBrushing. Thank you and happy ZBrushing.